Today, I'll be showing you how to do your Polygon crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly from Coinly, and today we're doing another specific blockchain related video. So how easily uh, you can enter your Polygon blockchain um, information into Coinly and then easily get your um, necessary tax documentation. So the breakdown of this video is there's no introduction because this is a blockchain. Um, I, that doesn't really make sense to do an introduction. And then I'll jump into how easy it is to um, get the necessary public key from any Polygon supported wallet. And then I'll jump into showing you how to get your necessary tax documentation. And lastly, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, stuff like that, I'll leave some links down below um, that you can get to um, and hopefully we can help you out with that. But without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Okay, so we are inside of Coinly. Make sure to log into your account, head over to the wallet section and then click add wallet and find the Polygon wallet. And there it is also in brackets, it's gonna say Matic. And here we're only looking for the public address or key and that's it. So you would head over to a wallet that you're using. For example, MetaMask is a very popular one with Polygon, but there's countless other um, examples and you're just gonna find the public key. And here there's really nothing on the screen that can kind of confuse you. This is the only key that they have. Um, it starts with zero XB. So let's go back into Coinly, paste it, import, and there you have it. That's just how easy it is to import all your Polygon information into Coinly. Now, a few different things to note here. First of all, you can do this with any wallet that supports Polygon. So um, MetaMask is the one I showed you, but you can also do it with Trust Wallet, um, Exodus, Ledger, anything else that you're using that has um, Polygon support. And just another thing to note here with DAXs, um, such as let's say Uniswap, um, for some of you, you might see three separate transactions for, let's say, a Uniswap trade, a deposit, a withdrawal, and a cost instead of just one trade. And this can happen if Coinly does not have a market price for the two tokens that were traded. You can merge the deposit and withdrawal manually in such cases. Um, cost cannot be merged into um, the transaction at this time. Okay, so once all these transactions have been imported into Coinly, make sure to go into them and um, just have a look. And if you're doing any staking, let's say, make sure you've tagged everything correctly. So sent from pool and sent to pool. Um, this is very important. Go through your transactions and make sure everything is tagged correctly. But once you have that, the best part of all is how easily uh, you can access your tax information. So head over into the tax reports area. Here you have uh, a summary of your capital gains, your income, your costs, uh, your gifts, donations, everything. Everything is here. Use this area throughout the year to see where your crypto taxes are going to end up. And then at the very bottom, you're gonna select a um, tax plan that's appropriate for your needs. And we have plenty of different tax plans for the US. We have the IRS Schedule D, Form 8949. You can also export TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for the UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then Canada, Germany, and other countries have the complete tax report. And keep in mind, the complete tax report is a document you can also give directly to an accountant and then combine it with other tax documentation to submit. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accountancy firm here with us. And lastly, what I tell everyone is check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that brings us to the conclusion of yet another integration video. Um, I'll leave you now with some resources down below. If you have questions, we have the Coinly Help Center with countless crypto tax related articles. Um, so if you want to learn more about that, we have a feedback section. You can give us some um, information if we have any difficulties or any problems with integrations and stuff like that. We have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have the contact section where you can send us a direct message and we'd be happy to get back to you. But if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.